Okay. Hi folks, this is Tony at Travel Scoot, and in this video I'm just going to recap how to use the battery charger and how to charge your lithium-ion battery on the Travel Scoot. Uh, these components may look familiar. This is your standard uh, METCO lithium-ion battery charger. This is the power cord that comes with it. And I'm going to show you what to expect with a properly operating battery charger when you plug it into the wall. Number one, make sure that you have a nice secure connection with your power cord as inserted into the battery charger, the same as you would have on a computer monitor, TV set, many other appliances. These power cords are available locally, by the way. We do have them, but you can get them at any electrical store, staples, etc., office depot. Okay, when you plug the power cord into the wall, I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to do it here so I don't have to go bending over all the time. Wait for that light to go out. Plug the battery charger and power cord together. You will see the red light, the outer red LED, illuminate steady red, indicating that the battery charger has power. And the inner so-called battery status light will blink three times and then go out. Older chargers may blink red three times and then go out, but the power indicator will be the same. Then we take this over to our lithium-ion battery. I'm going to scoot this stuff out of the way so Kevin doesn't have to go through contortions to get to it. Oh, for crying out loud. All right, let's just do it this way. We insert the battery charger plug into the charger, and we should see a steady red light come on as the battery charges properly. When the battery reaches full charge, and I think I'm going to try to fool it into doing this by unplugging it very briefly. Nope, didn't quite do it. Just goes out again. This battery status light will turn green. When the battery reaches full charge, that inner LED will turn steady green. Remember, you want to see steady lights on the charger at all times. Any blinking indications are a fault. And just to remind you, kind of difficult to see, there is an arrow at the top of the silver charger connector. It's probably easier to see that little screw that holds the uh, components together. So use that as your reference. And then again, if you need to, just refer to your charging port as the smiley face. That's the way you want to approach it uh, with the smile being at the bottom and the little screw being at the top. Uh, it won't fit together any other way, but if you're really brutal, you can damage your connector. 